I also love The Mystery of Providence by, by John Flavel, and I read this before I was married, <laughs> uh, 38 years ago, almost 39 years ago, and just thinking about the steps that God had put into place to bring my wife across the country and intersect with my life, and just all of these mysterious steps and the timing and reading this a mystery of providence those many years ago was strategically used in my life to realize these are green lights in front of me uh, to move forward in the providence of god and i'll tell you this as well as i became reformed in theology it began with sovereign election and all of the other doctrines of grace and soteriology. But at that point, it never dawned on me that there was a doctrine of providence. Like, you mean God is sovereign over my circumstances as well? And that was mind-boggling for me. Election was mind-boggling. Providence, like, pushed it over the edge. But to read that it's a sweet providence, that there, it, there actually are ordered steps for me, and that God has gone before me and marked out my path and prepared good works for me to, to walk in. The, the, this, this book, The Mystery of Providence, really puts the romance into providence. It's a sweet providence. It's an all-wise providence. I, I wouldn't want anything else for my life other than what God has wisely and graciously foreordained for my life.